when the snow is crunchy, it's cold. Uh, I think it was 11 degrees out earlier this morning, and it hasn't really warmed up that much. I uh, come out to the pole barn today to work on the XS Cafe project. I got some exhaust wrap for the uh, headers. I'm going to install that today, and I don't think it's going to be that difficult of a project. We're just going to hit it. I do see what they were talking about when to make it more malleable. Um, this out here feels kind of a little softer than like a seat belt. But this, once you put a little water on it, really makes it squishy and easy to manipulate around. Um, it's a little tricky around this bend. Because I'm trying to make sure that it's uniform, like I have even spacing on them. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking back visually, trying to make sure that I'm the same distance on all of them. Down here, this is underneath the motor and probably not going to be seen, but up here is where you're going to start to see it. So I'm trying to really make sure that my lines uh, come up and everything gets on there smoothly and wrapped well, and I have even spacing. Oh boy. 
I say oh boy because yesterday I wrapped this just loosely to get an idea So, because I, I didn't want a great big chunk. I didn't want that whole roll. And I had it wrapped and then I went from here down to the other end of the tube diagonally and cut it and thought, yeah, that'll be more than enough. And look at this. It was not enough. I guess we're going to cut it right there. I'm going to try to tuck that. If I had extra, which I thought I did, but I don't, I would definitely tuck that uh, on the bottom side of that. I, I, I. I don't think for my first time I'm doing too bad. Maybe I am. Got one done. Didn't go too bad. Um, we're pretty evenly spaced. I'm a little short on a couple of them. That could have straightened it out, but um, keeping that in mind, I'm going to do the other one. You're not going to see this much of this one. You're not going to see this. And these are temporary. As I'm looking at this, I'm, it seems like I'm getting tighter and tighter, so I'm just letting up a little bit and squeezing it out, pushing it down a little bit. It's helping roll that out. Now I get up into the bend, which is going to mess everything up. Well, there's the header tubes. Gonna have to do a little trimming up here on this one. I don't think they look terrible. This one definitely got tighter than this one for some reason. And um, maybe I can stretch that out a little bit. Maybe I'll stretch that out a little bit, which will get it up closer to the top. But it does look a little off now that this one's done. I got a bind right there, so I should probably fix that. So I got a couple areas where I think I'm gonna try to make some corrections before I do this part. There, that fixed it. I had a little bit of a bubble here, a little bit more than that. It's in that same area. This piece kind of stretched out a little bit underneath there. Uh, fixed that. I redid this so it's a little bit longer. <clears throat> they are not perfect. They are not identical, symmetrical. But if you look, you can kind of see that they kind of flow the same. When I say my first time, it's not perfect. I didn't figure it would be now for the fun part, I'm going to wrap this. I'm going to take it from here up to here.
There it is wrapped all the way down the header tubes all the way back on this weird piece and then the muffler i'm going to work on getting the retainers on here the retaining straps on here this needs cleaned up a little bit we'll work on that and then i'm just gonna set it on the bike so i'm gonna do that there we have it back to front i do not like these band clamps uh, I am definitely going to seek an alternative to those because I really don't think those are going to hold for very long. Uh, they just don't seem secure. And it's probably my fault because I don't know how to make them work. So what I'm going to do right now is set this on the bike and let's see how it looks. There. There, it's setting on the bike. Setting very precariously on the bike. That is the exhaust and where it will sit and what it looks like. There we go. Doesn't look too bad. It's still a little wet, it has to dry out. It's a little lumpy right there. Uh, I need to, I really don't like those clamps. So I think, um, worst case, I put another clamp on there but I don't think I'm gonna stick with these clamps. I'm gonna wait and see what it acts like when it's dry, and we'll go from there. Interesting, very interesting. Well, there you have it. Uh, done working on the XS Cafe. Today, I got the exhaust tubes wrapped. Uh, learned a few things along the way. Uh, I'm not familiar with the, that clamping system that was on there, so I gotta try to find something that's gonna work a little better than that. Uh, overall, it went pretty well, I thought. Uh, figured out that it's pretty easy to mix, mess up, but it's also pretty easy to fix it. So uh, the process itself wasn't that bad. So hopefully that inspires you in some way. Um, one thing I would like to mention right now is that I am just chronicling the build of this bike. I'm not trying to do instructional videos or how-to videos. I'm just recording what gets done on this bike when it gets done. So. Uh, to kind of see a timeline of that happening and uh, this is my winter project I live in Michigan where I spend several months out of the year not being able to ride so why not build a bike so that's what's going on here so if you like it uh, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel uh, my subscriptions are on the rise so uh, that's been a nice little thing lately um, follow me on uh, Instagram and Facebook at 650 cycle and I do a weekly update on my Facebook and I post up on uh, uh, Instagram they're not the same so I don't post I don't do one post and have it go to both it's different usually so you get different content you get different content on Facebook different content on Instagram different content on YouTube so make sure you follow um, and until next time ride safe